The time for people to wake up is right now. See this wall here? This straight edge line between over top of Cassini Crater, this is a city. And all of it inside of this square, there's atmosphere or industrial haze. And all of these in industries are on these cutout lines here, which are like literally roads or pathways. We're going to the left right here. The entire video will be on this area and of the massive installations there. Field this light and all the lights beside Plato Crater. The strange transient lunar phenomenon. No, it's not transient lunar phenomenon. These are industrials. This is an industrialized area of the moon. I think the entire moon is industrialized. I will get to one point where we can find out which is the housing areas and which are the industrialized areas, but I don't think that's important right now. I think the fact that we found any area with um, installations is very important. And now what I'm going to show you in this video is mind-boggling and astonishing. It's the surface, but we're still going to linger a bit here. I want you to see this beautiful wall here and the haze over top and all these many cities underneath. There are this massive city underneath. This is where we are going. On this side, oh, what do we have here? We have many, many installations. And now, totally exposed. I don't even have to talk through this entire video. At one point, I'll shut up and just let you guys look at what uh, I got. We're looking between Plato Crater and Cassini Crater the production corridor of industrialized cities here they are and we will see them in great detail and look inside of the lights beside Plato crater they are massive industries with an active active energy sources over top of them the last frame of this video is going to mesmerize you we will see that transient lunar phenomenon exposed several times in this video and especially that last frame, which I so adore, that shows the massive golden complex pipes and everything that are right beside Plato Crater. Talked about worldwide, many countries and many languages, many scientists are working and studying on these transient lunar phenomenons that are beside Plato Crater and on the surface of the moon. They are not transient lunar phenomenons. That term is inexistent as of today. These are installations, and I am going to expose them like no one has ever before on the surface of the moon. They are there. I've found them, and I'm going to expose them and show the world what's on the surface. There's what looks like airports and greenery, grass, trees, you name it, overhead view shots, just like military shots. Everything's placed, militarized, looks very military, looks very human-like, actually, and we're going to see that in great detail. Look at the contouring at the bottom here. This is a transient lunar phenomenon. This is what uh, everyone says beside Plato Crater are hiding under the lights. Well, look, I've gotten rid of those hazy smoke uh, pockets over top of them, and we're seeing the literal structures underneath and the contouring lines and trails, paths, you name it, on the surface of the moon. It's exposed. There's an Earth-like city on the moon, and you're about to see it. It's, I suggest you to sit down. It's quite the astonishing view. It's overwhelming, so much that I don't know if people will believe it, but it is there, and I know that people will start looking now. It's exposed. It's out in the open, and I've gotten so far advanced in this i mean look at the surface and look at the bottom the massive white installation underneath that uh, haze blue haze there where we see the colors nasa says it's transient lunar phenomenon look at the base look at the complex industries housing units you name it there are areas like this where we can see i'm positive there could be crafts in unison in line parked at the surface there is so much that we are seeing here. Look at this. Um, I mean, is it our uh, machinery? Is it um, buildings? 
it's geometrical uh, geometrical shapes so we have that as a proof it's there it's clear it's here all these pipes Leonard Walson says he finds pipes all day long well these are the pipes see these finding this is what's connected to the pipes guys there's installations on the surface there's an atmosphere down on the moon and if there is not an atmosphere like here on earth it doesn't matter they can still roam around inside of these tunnelized structures look at this could be train systems we have some of these lines or pipelines or are going completely from one end to the other of these mares here between plato crater and cassini crater it's just absolutely amazing to see the surface like this there's reds look at the smoke on the bottom they have red blue smoke green smoke yellow smoke there's a bunch of colors over top of these structures emanating the co2 gases the industry is down there i mean look at them all guys they're connected the production corridor here it is plain view we just saw the company near plato crater again the transient lunar phenomenon beautiful complex underneath it's massive guys that smoke that white object we think it's an object it's not an object it's a pocket of smoke that's remaining in place over top of a company a few hundred a few a hundred miles less than a hundred miles the smoke is remaining over top look at the reds yellows greens purples blues it's all the colors that are emanating from these companies you're looking at it right now the company beside Plato Crater inside what they call the transient lunar phenomenon the unknown light source guys it's an installation to the right there the haze over top of the installations look at the installation to the left inside the haze there beautiful surface exposed what are those airport strips at the back <laughs> We have massive units, and here's an overhead view zooming in. All these industries that are everywhere, but the, there's some industries that are making this plume of smoke, or the big ones inside of the light, they're right there. We can see them, and we'll see it in different, uh, a different view, the same photo, with different lighting and backlighting to be able to see the surface in a different way and to expose other structures and pathways that are beside it here we are here we go look at the one to the right it's massive massive and where the insulations are you see that blue and gold color whatever it may be as clear as day guys the smoke is over top of those areas those industries and it's causing a massive haze throughout the surface like we can see here it's nothing blurry on purpose it's it's uh, deliberately on the surface just random haze and smoke from uh, from their uh, working on the surface now under this haze you can be sure as heck there are many other structures and you can see the outlining of it thanks to the smoke look at this the back and the light they're all there they're all structures they're exposed guys there's nothing hiding it's all in plain view and this is so overwhelming and astonishing the the size of this i mean look what i'm showing you i'm not showing you one building it's an entire country or countries or nations the size that i just showed you the whole shot of that is many thousands of miles by many thousands of miles both length and width we can see underneath these plumes uh co2 gases of various colors pockets of smoke that are drifting along the surface here they are we can see underneath the pipes, massive pipes, for everyone to get through and to get around wherever they want. There could be train systems on the surface of the moon. Everything could be compressed and closed inside of all these compressed chamber-like units and compartments all interconnected together on the surface of the moon in plain view for everyone to see. And we're looking at them right now.
So there we have it. Plato Industries. Underneath the transient lunar phenomenon, that light is that industry you see on the right there. One of the biggest complex industry complexes on the surface of the moon, right between Cassini Crater and Plato Crater, where you can see that ridge wall, massive wall there. These are the channel contributors. Thanks, guys. These are the ones making the dream happen to get the big telescope. I'll have the campaign link up for those who want to contribute and help this channel remain free and to get our big goal, the big telescope, to show it all.